Hi, I'm Nicole Erkin, Research Director for Mad Money, and welcome to Behind the Scenes of the Show. I'm here with Jim Kramer, and we're talking Cree and how we analyzed it this past week. Now, Jim, on Mad Money, we often talk about analyst face-offs. So when you have a very controversial stock, especially one that's moved up a lot, we tend to say, we get excited when there are analysts that disagree because it allows us to compare the pro and the con and right. to make a conclusion. Right. Cree in particular is an LED technology name that we liked back in 2010 and did not work out. No, it's had wrong. a very big run, and now we're saying, you know what? It still has more room to go. Well, look, Cree is a stock like SanDisk, mm -hmm. like Western Digital, uh, like Micron, like Seagate. These are all component plays, okay? Uh, that's what they had been. That's what Cree had been. It was a component play for back, space, back uh, lighting for computers. And these are always football. That's a retail term, but it means a guy hates it, guy likes it, a stock goes down, you can play with the price. And, and what's happened is, is that Cree has left that contingent. It is now a self-standing uh, place where you go to Costco and you buy their bulbs. Now, one of the things that I was going with, uh, Lisa Devil, I'm a partner this weekend. We were trying to figure out, do I go? Do I go to Costco? And she was saying, no, they only have those those weird light. And I said, no, take a look at the new Cree light bulbs. Watch what we've been saying. I guess what I'm saying is, is that once Cree became a light bulb company and not just a space age light bulb, right. it began to get a different cohort. And that's why I think the guy who's, who's negative is wrong. Right, and I think when it did, as you said, move into light bulbs and fixtures, which it does sell in addition to the Home Depots of the world to distributors, so it does right. have a wider span, they are competing with a Philips. They are competing right. with, a, with a, you know, Acuity and Cooper Lighting, uh, Osram, which is right. part of Siemens. But it, its move is actually so important because it's higher margin, they have the whole vertical, right. and this is actually going to help them continue to grow. Whereas before, they were being commoditized, they were having margin right. pressure. They didn't. They weren't able to compete. And even if they lose some business because of this right. now, frenemies, their customers, right. our competitors as well, they still will be growing their higher margin business. Well, I remember we questioned the Bears methodology, limited to Home Depot, a right. great company reports this week. But I want to emphasize to people that when Cree became a household light bulb, it was no longer trapped by PCs. PC growth is diminishing. Mm -hmm. Light bulbs, housing play. Also stealth non-residential play because a lot of right. its exposure is actually offices and buildings that are Very really focused on LED Very bulbs. All right, Cree, keep it on your radar. It's had a big move, but on a pullback, it might be interesting for you here. I'm Nicole Erkin with Jim Kramer. Thank you for being with us.